use headphones for best experience. First, let me just remind you that you can also find my content on audio streaming platforms like Spotify, Apple Music and other platforms if you type in ASMR Arctica ASMR you will find a lot of content here this is my latest album so check it out if you haven't Today I would like to show you this keyboard switch tester that I bought and uh, it consists of 72 different switches from different brands and uh, different um, behaviors and before I knew there was such a thing like uh, as this um, I had no idea that this um, was a topic that was th that there are so many enthusiasts out there that uh, care about this and uh, spend a lot of time energy and money on this, but it's very important. Um, so it's been super interesting to dive into this world, actually. The mechanical keyboard world. Because there are small, small nuances and differences in um, how it feels when you press a switch on a mechanical keyboard of course so if you for example are into gaming or typing writing a lot on a mechanical keyboard on the computer or use the mechanical keyboard when you're gaming then this uh, of course becomes very import important what type of feel you have when you press when you press the, um, the keys and uh, yeah for example in gaming it's important that uh, the reaction is like immediate immediately you get a response when you press it so a very short time between the impulse to press it until it actuates. So then you need speedy the, sp the speed um, options that you can press very fast. And some people like the clicky ones, so you can hear when you're typing. You get a, a response. That you can hear the sound for every time you press press the key and some people don't like it at all uh, finds it disturbing maybe in, a, in an office environment or if you are gaming in um, at home at night when the family is asleep 
pill or something. You want a more quiet sound. So there are three categories I have found out, three main categories of mechanical keys, mechanical switches I mean. And um, those are the linear ones, the tactile ones and the clicky ones. So here you can see they are marked with colors and the manufacturer brand. So first, the first row here is cherry, all the way from left to here, it's cherry. It's a German brand, this, this, that's the really classic one, standard switches. Um, started already in the mid-1980s to produce the Cherry MX switches series in Germany. Um, so really popular, really classic ones. Then you have the Gateron brand from here to here. Black, red, brown, blue, clear, yellow, green. In cherry, they are called black, red, brown, blue, clear, white, and green. A bit different here. And uh, this is not all the the types of switches that these brands produce. It's just a selection of seventy two switches from a couple of popular brands. Then. There's another row from Gateron. Gateron, I guess, are manufactured in China. And uh, you can get this for a bit lower price than the cherry ones. I think uh, it's kind of uh, the same features, the same... I mean the same... Uh, mm, what should I say? I mean, the, the Gateron Red uh, should probably be quite similar to, or very similar to Cherry MX Red. It's kind of a, a later copy, but um, of course the material and the plastic and everything is a bit different. So maybe the, the feel when you press it, when you do it a lot, have a lot of switches and you have use them a lot, you can, of course, feel the difference and uh, eventually find out what which one you prefer. I read that um, some think, some people think, or yeah, I read some reviews saying that uh, the Gateron ones are, could be a bit smoother, have a bit smoother and lighter feel, with less friction, less noise than the cherry ones, but it depends, of course, uh, what you prefer. And then there's the uh, uh, Gateron SMT versions, the same colors, uh, and I think that there's no big difference on the in these, comparing these two. Because SMD just means that it's surface mount diode in it, so you can use them with a with a backlighting. So yeah, it's uh, compatible with the LED if you want the backlighting on your on your keyboard, which I guess could be very useful. If you are typing or using the keyboard on the when it's dark, and then there's a getter on milk, another variation series from getter on 
then the plastic um, stem is made of an opaque clear or like white clear plastic um, and, and the SMD the surface mount diode compatible um, switches are I think have a clear stem so the light gets through so that's the the difference I don't know you can see here on the side a bit maybe the cherry ones typically has have this black stem and base here you can see they're both the Gateron standard and the Gateron SMG are clear and here you can see the milk one it's a bit more opaque opaque plastic than the clear ones and uh, I'm not sure exactly how the stems look I haven't <laughs> taken a look on that um, because I'm I'm a bit worried that will it will be destroyed somehow if I try to to remove these caps. Um, so why this milky variation? Um, the housing is made of a different kind of plastic and it causes the LED to be diffused more evenly I have read so it also the different material from the from the regular Gateron plastic also causes the switch to have a bit bit uh, deeper and fuller sound And then, but yeah, these three rows are quite identical actually, all until here. So there's a uh, the regular version, the SMG version, and the milk version, all the same switches. Then there is the next manufacturer, Kale or Kyle, another Chinese brand manufacturer maybe even more budget than Gateron I think you can get an even lower price for these but I'm not sure exactly I haven't checked the prices so accurate mm, and then it says kale I would call it kale I'm not a sure exactly how to pronounce it kale um, box it says so these are from the kale box series first it's uh, the same um, colors as this one the black one the red one the brown one oh uh, not it's not the blue one actually because in kale series it's uh, actually the white the clicky one here and um, then there are some special colors here dark yellow burnt orange and pale blue and these are in the kale box heavy series so these are bit heavier feel heavier activation force that I will talk about later then there are cherry RGB series black red brown and blue and 
these are identical to these almost with the difference that these are also um, adapted to have um, a backlight option RGB illumination so it has uh, they have a, tra a transparent stem for RGB because yeah like I said the, the regular ones have have this this black stem base but then comes another one called cherry RGB silver and I think this is a version of the cherry speed silver that you can see here so there is no I haven't found there are there is a cherry MX silver so these four are picked from this series and this one is picked from this one it's this is not a series i think this is just one solo um, switch that is supposed to be extra speedy speed uh, for gaming And then there are the Kales again, Kale Speed series, these four. Yeah, same there. Uh, speedy, fast reaction and actuation for perfect for gaming. Copper, gold, bronze and silver. And then there's the Gather on Silent series, these three. Silent Black, Silent Red, Silent Brown versions of these. Uh, these have uh, like an extra silencer pad built on them to remove the sound make it more soft of course the dampening effect then there's kale again kale box series these were kale box also these three and these are this one is kale box royal it's an extremely tactile tactile switch and these are the cable box thick click series so these are kind of extreme the extreme series together if you want to have a lot of resistance I guess the feeling when you're pressing them so it's only kale box I haven't found any kale uh, like standard kale here I think there are also uh, non the kales not uh, in the box series but they are not included here at all then there's kale haku H A K O Haku, Haku, I will call them Haku, Kale Haku series. Um, these are tactile and uh, quite heavy weight series. Also this one, Kale Haku Royal Clear, Kale Haku Clear, Kale Haku Violet and Kale Haku True. It's actually four of them. Uh, I forgot to tell you that these are these uh, cable box thick click are called uh, navy and jade. And the last row here is cherry silent black red speed silver. Oh no. This is not silent, this is 
these two are the cherry silent series only two are included here so again this um, rubber padding to reduce the sound to a minimum and then the cherry speed silver switch that I mentioned before and here are the kale pro series still a budget alternative uh, but they are um, they are market as um, as pro um, they are said to have a responsive and quick trigger more tactile than the browns for example and the colors here are called burgundy purple and green because yeah kale doesn't have an ordinary blue or green like gateron and uh, cherry have so here's their green Part of the Pro series. Here's Telios. It's from another manufacturer, manufacturer, a Canadian company called Zeal PC. And their Telios is uh, only producing one type, only this one. No series. But they also have this, this is a series from, called Zilius Tactile series here From Zil PC And here is Alias or Alias um, It's the Gateron Alias Silent tactile series so four more of these here you had get your own silent series and here's another silent series from get your own, but it's called alias alias and uh, next one i think i haven't mentioned cherry linear gray it's a special one here And uh, Novel Keys Cream. So, this is a company manufacturer from the US. Only represented in this, uh, in this switch on this board. But of course, they have more options than this one. Well, of course, but I, I think they have. I'm sure they have. I think I have mentioned them all now. The manufacturers. The last one here is a random switch. Maybe at the end of this video I can try to guess which one it, it could be or which one it will be closest to. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's one that is already featured here or maybe it's another one. I'm not sure. It just says random switch okay uh, I think it's time to start to try the sounds from this and the feel from the, all these uh, switches now I have talked a long time already just about the brands so let's start with the linear ones linear is one of the three different types of switches um, and it's just very basic and it comes in a red version of this and a black version both uh, cherry, gateron and kale have the same color code for it so they're all linear red one the black one 
The difference of these two is that uh, this is a bit more heavy, a bit heavier to press down. And then you can measure this by the actuation force. Measured in uh, Newton, could be, or in grams of force. And uh, one Newton is approximately 100 uh, grams of force, and I will use grams of force, but only refer to it as grams, to make it more easy to talk about. So when I say grams, I mean grams of force, and uh, if you multiply it by 100, or uh, divide it by 100, you get the, the approximately the value in Newton. So here's 45. The, um, the force you need to press down the Cherry MX Red is 45 grams. And uh, to press down the Black, Cherry MX Black is 60 grams. And I can feel it's a bit more resistance here. I need to press a bit harder to. You can also hear a different sound, I guess. But these are linear, so it's no. Uh, I can talk a bit about this when I, when I have introduced the other two. Two um, categories. So let's continue with the tactile ones, the brown ones. All these from Cherry, Gateron and Kale are labeled with a brown color. And these are the tactile ones. So there's no click. But the difference when I press them is that I can feel like a tactile bump. So first, if I just hold my finger here and um, nothing will happen because even though the weight of my finger is like pressed or like not pressed but if I lay the weight of my finger on it nothing happens so I need to press it down to get through that bump and then it presses down so it's it's tactile I can feel little bump in the movement so and I guess it's because so you can know so you get feedback that you have pressed the key some some users will appreciate that If I start to press this, it just directly starts to move. And I can't feel any difference from top to the base of the key keyboard. Just go linear, the whole movement. And here it's just, it's nothing, 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 and then it's a bump, and then it goes down. And then there's the clicky, the third category is the clicky category. So it's a bump again, but this time it's also added a click to it, a sound and even more resistance, I guess. So it's even harder to get through that bump and you hear a click. So the actuation force are on these are 45 grams for the Cherry MX Brown. But when you have this tactile bump, you can also measure the, um, the uh, um, tactile force. And that's 55 grams. So 10 uh, grams more for the tactile force than the Activation force. I'm not sure exactly what that means. Maybe I need 55 grams to start 
the moment and then it's 45 to complete it. Let's get easier when I get have got through that that tactile pump. And here it's 50 grams the actuation force needed and 60 the tactile force. to press a bit harder for pressing down this one get through the clicky tactile bump in this one and um, then you can also measure the actuation point and that's measured in millimeters it's uh, the pre-travel distance before it the key, the, the switch actuates and the standard is 2.0 millimeters so most of them have 2.0 millimeters but this one actually the cherry blue the clicky one has 2.2 millimeters so it will travel a bit more before it actuates So you can say it has a high actuation point. So 60, quite uh, heavy. 45, quite normal. 45, but with the extra bump. And uh, 50. clear is a tactile switch just like the brown but instead of uh, 45 grams this has an actuation force of 55 grams so 10 more grams a bit heavier and then the um, actuation uh, the, uh, the tactile force is also 10 grams more so it's 65 to get through the whole movement so it should be a bit heavier to press and I think I can notice that I really feel the bump in this one it's described, described as a medium stiff Cherry white. It's. Uh, well, I will. I will start with cherry green actually. Cherry green is also a medium stiff switch. Uh, even stiffer version of uh, cherry blue. So it's a clicky one. But it has a very very high actuation uh, force 70 grams and 80 tactile force and uh, also just like uh, cherry blue it has 2.2 millimeters pre-travel the actuation And um, yeah, so it's a clicky switch with even more resistance. And from the beginning, I think it was made for the space bar on uh, the cherry blue keyboards because you want the space bar to be a bit more resistance on that one so on the cherry blue keyboard there was a cherry green space bar but uh, of course you can use the the cherry green on the entire keyboard if you want and 
and here's cherry linear gray. I have found out now that this must be labeled wrong because I can very clearly feel a tactile bump in this one. And then my guess is that this is not the, as it says here, linear gray, it's the tactile gray because there's also a cherry tactile gray with uh, 80 grams in the actuation force, so really heavy. Also, this one was used for um, space bars. At least the linear, uh, the linear gray was used for space bars to the black, the uh, keyboards with the Cherry MX Black switches. So I guess the tactile gray was usually meant for space bars on Cherry MX Brown. But it's a quite big difference from 45 grams on the brown switch to 80. On the linear, well, on the tactile gray. And um, here's another case, cream. It's a linear. Very smooth, easy to press. Don't need much force to press it down. The actuation force is 55 grams. So it should be a bit more resistance than the cherry red with 45. to press than the cherry MX red, but maybe a bit more um, heavy than the Gatro red. So I can feel a difference between cherry and Gatro, even though they both say 45 grams actuation force and they are both linear. But this one should be a bit more resistance. Also, it says 55 grams, the operating force, and it says 70 grams, the bottom to out force. Sometimes you can, I have read two values, but I guess if I want to compare them, I should use the 55 grams. And the actuation point is just standard, 2.0 millimeters. Okay, let's move on to the getter on switches. They should have the same values as the Cherry MX. So it's 60 grams for the black one, 45 grams for the linear red one, linear black, linear red, 55 grams for the tactile brown, or 45 to 55, I have read both the 
values. I'm not sure which one it should be, but this one was 45, so I guess I can say 45 for this one too. No, of course, uh, 45, um, there are two values, of course, uh, the uh, actuation force and the tactile force. The tactile force is 10 grams higher. Forty-five to fifty-five grams, and here it's fifty-five to sixty grams. It's like cherry, and uh, an actuation point of two point three millimeters. And to me, they are a bit easier to press down, actually. Especially uh, the red one. Also the black one. And the tactile one. The blue one, I can't say I can say I feel a difference. Here's the getter on clear. It's an extremely light switch. It's linear, no resistance, no nothing. You need to get through to it before you can hit the floor of the keyboard. It's only thirty five grams. Ten grams less than the red one. Very light, linear, perfect for gaming, and I guess it's uh, it's uh, that's the reason they have started to produce it. Gaming they have a very quick response, very quick activation. I forgot the cherry white now because I, I jumped over it. Huh, yeah, I think I did. So the cherry green was um, 70 grams and the cherry white is actually clicky. With 50 or 70 grams. I have had both. Um, Values, but the click is much lighter, much easier to press than this one. I don't know the, uh, what's the difference. It is a click, but it's a much smoother lighter click than these two. So I'm not sure exactly. The getter on yellow is a linear one with 50 grams the activation force. Which means it should be between red and black, 45, 50, 60, 45, yeah, a bit more, heavier, and the heaviest one. This one is, if I just do a small, small movement and don't press it all the way down, I feel that this one, this one still moves very quickly, it starts to move down, press down, this quite hardly move, uh, moves at all.
this moves and this is something in between and the Gatron green has 80 grams of activation force and the click and an activation point of 2.3 millimeters so it's a heavier version of the blue one just like cherry Okay, let's move to get her on SMD versions and the milk version. I can't feel any difference and I don't think I'm supposed to. This is so smooth. This is like nothing. Like pressing on no resistance. I can say I feel any difference. Maybe we can go on with this now. Gateron alias silent. The first silent ones. And they have their activation force uh, printed here on the name 60 gram, 70 gram. 80 gram and 100 grams and they are all tactile so if I should compare them to something it would be the brown switches the actuation force 55 or 45 to 55 and here I can feel the tactile bump much more much more tactile and it's 15 grams more than than the brown ones and then even more, even heavier and they're also silent of the, the silencer pad so not much more to say about those and then Zilius also they have the, the, the actuation force printed 62 grams 65 grams 67 grams and 78 grams And these are also tactile. Um, so they have a quite high activation force. And you can really feel the bump and uh, the spring when it goes back it's like a bouncing effect almost quite satisfying but 
I'm not sure. It will be nice for uh, to have it on the keyboard and press like typing with it. But pressing it just once occasionally is quite nice. Also here it makes some sound from the aluminium <laughs> bass. Almost like music. They should be, they had, have been described as smooth, crisp, light, this one, 62, the lightest one, and then the next one has been described as smooth, long, drawn out, tactile, bump, feedback. Yeah, you can totally see what they mean. Drawn out tactile bump feedback. The bump feels even more on the way back. So it's very tactile. And this one has been described as crisp and responsive. Cushion during bottom out. And the heaviest version here has been described as a round, snappy, tactile. I like to feel really imagine the spring bouncing. So let's move on to Kale now. This part is mostly Kale switches. So first Kale box. Black, red. Brown and white. Sixty grams. Fifty grams rather than forty five grams actually for the kale red. And fifty grams also for the brown rather than forty five for the other brands. So it should be a bit more resistance probably. But also a difference here is that uh, the actuation point, the pre tremor, is only one point eight millimeters instead of two point zero millimeters the standard. I think uh, Gatron is the standard Gatron. Or the easiest one. This needs a little bit more effort to 
questa and also there were five more grams the linear ones heaviest one smooth one bumpy and the kale box white Also, this is a second uh, switch on this board that I think maybe will has been uh, wrongly labeled because kale box white I have read should be a clicky switch. With a special metal click bar and not the the plastic click jacket used in the other clicky switches. But I can't uh, uh, hear and I click here. But I can feel the, the tactile bump. So this must be a tactile switch without click. I'm not sure which one it can be. Cane box white should have 50 grams. That's actuation force. And 1.8 millimeters um, actuation point. So it should actually have the same strength as the brown one if it's tactile. it feels like this one is a bit heavier more resistance than the brown one and it's not super easy to compare the black one with the tactile one because yeah it's a linear one Quite heavy. Hmm. Maybe I can compare it with this. These are very special, actually. Very tactile. The bump is so recognizable. I like this. that you can play melodies on them and yeah I don't know which one this is it says scale box white but I don't think it is and here's scale box dark yellow linear one with the actuation for seventy grams and the actuation point one point eight millimeters just like the other so 70 is actually quite heavy 10 more grams than the black one so it's not like the getter on yellow that was in between um, red and the black this one is actually heavier than the black one now we have moved into the kale box heavy series and it's one linear one tactile and one clicky switch 70 for the linear 60 grams for the tactile 
and 60 also for the clicking so I can compare these two mm -hmm. quite much the same maybe even heavier this one So sixty compared to fifty, both tactile, heavy version of the brown. The stem is actually from the box brown, uh, kale box brown, and uh, in the the linear one, the dark yellow, 70, is based on the stem from box red, so it's a heavier version of red and black, 70 gram, and um, pale blue with 60 grams should be be a heavier version of box white but I don't think this is box white so I can't really compare them because this is a clicker one and this is not and uh, next the cherry RGB series and I don't assume there should be any difference from maybe a bit different sound but it could also be the the location of the switch on the board perhaps the only difference is the stem that is um, like adapted to or it's possible to use the the backlighting when you have the RGB versions but here's a cherry RGB silver but I will wait with this one until I have showed you speed silver here's kale speed series Two clicky ones in the middle, and then the tactile copper, and the linear silver. Copper has 40. You can really feel the bump here. to 50 but the huge difference here is actually the actuation point the pre-travel because on these speed versions it's only 1.1 millimeter instead of 2 it's a really really low actuation point but there are two clicky ones, and this one has a 1.1 millimeters uh, activation point, and this one has a, it's like uh, something in between, so it's 1.4 millimeter uh, millimeters on this one. But they're all zero, uh, 50 grams. These two are 50 grams. These two are 40 grams activation point. The speed comes from this actuation point. Sorry, actuation actuation force is 40, 50, 50, 40, 
and the actuation point is 1.1, This one is really speed, speedy. Quick reaction. But not like this. I need more effort to press down this one. Since it's uh, 50. Or uh, no, sorry, forty, and this was only thirty-five. I guess much smoother, but it has a more mm, almost like a silent sound. This one. A muffled sound. Maybe because it's like lower in a way. The case, maybe, since it's only 1.1 millimeter. And this could be compared to the RGB. No. The clicky ones should be compared to this one, K-Box Pale Blue, with 60 grams. 60. 50, 50. So there are two clicky switches labeled as speed. I didn't think that those who wanted speedy versions of the switches usually preferred clicky sounds, but maybe there are. This is more for typists, typing, I guess, than gaming. If you want to type really fast, perhaps. And uh, here's uh, 40 grams. Tactile. Compared to 50. There is a difference, but I can't really tell. So just another feeling, more muffled. And I can't say it's um, less effort. I think this is quite heavy compared to this one. But it should be uh, 10 grams uh, lighter, I guess. And get around silent. 60, the same um, actuation force as standard for all the black ones. Get around, then I will compare it to this one. So it's a difference in sound, of course, because here you have the padding, rubber dampening, and 45 grams for the red silent. So it should be the same force needed, but a uh, different feel and different sound. version 55 grams 55 grams silent when you compare these two this almost sounds like clicky now because compared to this one sounds like this one is clicky but it's not clicky this tactile, this is clicky. So when it comes to clickiness, then this is the less, the least clicky. 
something in between and mouse to click and here's the kale box royal extremely tactile uh, 75 grams of actuation force needed and yeah it's almost the same as yeah, I can compare it to, let's see, this one, 78 grams for the Zilius version. Quite similar, actually. Really satisfying if you want to feel that um, tactile bump very clearly, both on the way down and on the way back. I almost imagine some kind of shape, <laughs> like a small rounded ball. box navy and cane box jade 75 grams just like this one so it's a really heavy one and 65 grams so these are thick click switches the thicker click bar than the other clicky one the pale blue i guess and the white that we can't listen to here. Yeah, so this has a more wet sound. You can really, it's a really clicky sound and, and more effort needed. Sixty was the activation force for this one, and uh, okay. Yeah, 65. 5 more grams here and 75. Even 10 more grams for this one. And here's... Um, here are the uh, Hakko... Kale Hakko. Strange colors, strange name. True, violet, clear, and royal clear. So these are described as the heavy white, especially true heavy white switch with gentle tactility. And it has an um, actuation force of 59 to 95. 59 is the tactile point. And 95 is the force on the spring. I don't know if, the, if it means the way back, because that's when I feel the, the, the energy from the spring, perhaps the force from the spring. It's tactile, 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 and clicking. Tactile, 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 tactile click. No linear here. Um, the violet one should have notable tactility and light resistance. Um, the tactile point is 40 grams and the spring force is 50 grams. And the royal clear one is a, has extreme tactility, medium heavy weight, 72 tactile point and 75 spring so this is the heaviest one I should compare it to yeah I can totally see they are in the same league around 
70 grams tactile and this one is around 59 to 95 it's a big huge difference here does it mean that it's it's like the force going back going up again is really strong like the, the force from the spring something like that perhaps heavy weight I think I need a lot of weight and press hard to move it. I wonder if I should compare it to some other tactile one. It's not actually, I can't really feel the tactile bump in this one. It feels almost linear but not linear, so I can feel there is something there. More like this, but more heavy. In this that I have showed you, I can really feel the bump. It's very, very clear. This I can feel it's something. It's not totally linear, but it's and also it's quite heavy. the silent ones because yeah since they're silent I think it's a special feeling almost like you have um, I imagine there's like a um, carpet <laughs> on the bottom the floor but I guess it's not but it feels like that mm. hmm can't really compare it to any other. It's quite special actually. Kale Hako Violet. This is very light. Easy to press. Notable tactility. Yes, it has notable tactility. I can like just move it up and down. Just around the um, bump. Uh, 40 grams to 50 grams yeah, it's, it's quite light actually not far from 35 but these are much easier of course these are linear maybe I can compare it to the si speed silver hmm? Tactile switch with only 40 grams. Hmm. Cateron Brown. No, not the same. They are special. Kale box brown. Yeah, probably quite the same. It should be easier to press forty instead of fifty, but I kind of feel it's harder to press. And the bump is much more, I can feel the bump much clearer, more clear here. But it's not heavy like this. It's uh, This category was interesting. I can't really tell what, what's the difference.
Yeah, this one was the, the, the most tactile. And then the clicky one. Moderate tactility, medium weight. 63 to 75 grams. So it's not like the thick clicks. Or actually it should be 65 grams for cable box jade. doesn't feel the same at all, so it's something else here. You can't really tell what the difference is. They're, these are just different. <laughs> That's all I can come up with. Um, chair is silent. This was really silent. Sixty grams. This is also sixty grams. Silent. But this is tactile, this is linear. Again, a bit more resistance for cherry than get run, I think. Even though they both say sixty grams. Forty five grams. Very similar, M maybe a bit more heavier. This one, the feel here. Speed silence from cherry. No, sorry, uh, speed silver. Forty five grams is the actuation force, and only one point two millimeter actuation point. Very low activation point. So this one is really fast. And uh, cherry RGB silver should be an RGB version of it. Shouldn't be much difference. They sound quite different. Again, maybe depending on where they are placed. Linear, speedy. Speed linear also Fifth, uh, forty grams, forty five grams. Get her on clear thirty five grams. These are much, much, much lighter and then this one. And then this one, it's not so light actually, when I compare it to this. And the Kale Pro Burgundy, 50 grams. All this uh, have an actuation point of 1.7 millimeters, so quite a low actuation point. Responsive and quick trigger. So yeah, the actuation point, the low actuation point means it's a quick trigger. Uh, the linear one, 50, they all have 50 grams in actuation uh, force, but it's one linear, one tactile, one clicky. Um, the clicky one with 50 grams, I can compare to. Mm -hmm. Let's 
נכנסים. I would have loved to compare it with Kale Books White if it would have been the clicky one. Because it's old, so should have been 50 grams. Mm -hmm. uh, compared to Cherry Blue, 50 grams. I can really feel that it's a lower um, activation point, only 1.7 millimeters compared to 2 millimeters. Much faster. And uh, the purple one, the tactile, doesn't feel super tactile to me when I have tried this. Just a little bit tactile, more like the brown. Um, I can compare it to Kale Box Brown, 50 gram. Feels almost linear. Actually, this one feels almost linear. So a small bump. Heavier, this one to press. And the linear one, fifty grams, also fifty grams. Ah, uh, the this one has have one point eight millimeters, and this one have one point seven millimeters. They both have quite low actuation point. Shouldn't be much difference, but it fits. Feels a bit different, and I think this feels a bit. This feel a bit uh, heavier for some reason. I'm the lonely one, Telios. That is related to this somehow. The same manufacturer. It only comes in 67 grams and uh, it's a bottom out force, not the activation force. The activation force should be less than that, I guess. Maybe it's a bit snappy, it bounces back quite quickly with that. It's a linear one, it's a linear version of these tactile ones, perhaps. 62 grams tactile, 67 grams linear, feels very different from this. Very, I don't know, a bit like uh, tail speed silver. Speedy, actually. Maybe a bit like cherry and mix red. With only 45 grams, but this has. It doesn't say how many grams it has on the activation force. Maybe it's around 45 grams and then 67 on bottom out. It's more bouncy. The bottom out force is quite. And then the last one, the random switch. Which one can it be? It's definitely a tactile one. 
here dump not super different from this one but not as um, clearly the bump a bit more vague bump here Cherry brown. No. More tactile. It's not a silent one. It's not as heavy as this one, extreme tactility, 72 grams, less than 72 grams it should be. That's why I was thinking about these with 60, between 60 and 70 grams. I would say 65 grams. not as um, extremely tactile as this but more extremely tactile than this one this is almost linear in the field Something in between this one and this one. Yeah. Okay, now we have gone through all the switches. enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.